Greetings to everyone! In today's video I would like to show you some interesting infos about the common linnet, which bird unfortunately hasn't got Hollywood's attention yet, however they are very lovable creatures. We just have to take a look at the feather colors of a male linnet and it will be obvious that this bird is full of love. And I also created my video with full of love. Are you stupid or something? So don't click anywhere. Because after the intro, the big common linnet show begins. Having read the common linnet's Latin scientific name, it's obvious that these birds derive their names from the hemp. Fun fact that in Hungary their name, Kenderike, is like hempy. But we don't have to be afraid of meeting high linnets, because they eat only the seeds of the hemp, which doesn't contain any psychedelic component. However, it's quite funny if you see a common linnet swinging from side to side on a bush. Our fellow vegans can easily refer to the linnets since, besides hemp seed, their diet is totally vegetal, they rarely eat insects. They are truly biobirds. The linnets are great musicians. They are able to learn to imitate the voice of other birds and melodies. Marie Antoinette, famous French queen, is supposed to be given a linnet which could sing each and every areas from the opera titled Dido and Aeneas. Okay, enough about Oprah. The male linnet is a gentleman from top to bottom. During the nesting period, he chooses a high peak from which he defends his mate, chirping as a guard. Meanwhile, he watchfully pays attention. When the female flies away, he immediately follows her. They always stay close to each other. In order to give equal appreciation to the femininity, we have to mention that not only the nest is built by the female alone, but she also broods alone. It means while the male completes the ceremonial stuffs, the female does by and large everything. Does it ring a bell? The linnets tolerate humans around them pretty much. They are real home office birds. As they build their nest in the bushes near houses. So we can often run into them in spring and in summer. Despite all that, unfortunately they are not as well known as sparrows, tits and blackbirds. But my video will bring them all the glory. <laughs> you serious? When a linnet couple doesn't find other linnets nearby, they prefer nesting near about greenfinches. It means that if we see greenfinches somewhere in spring or in summer, the linnets are likely to be there too. Even though we don't have to say goodbye to the linnets in winter, since they winter here in Hungary, I must say goodbye as we are close to the end of the video. But without goodbye, I just say to the birds, good, just fly. <laughs>